Hey everybody, this is Casey from Gravity Kit. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with our free dynamic lookup field for gravity forms. The dynamic lookup field allows you to dynamically populate field choices from other gravity forms entries or WordPress users. So I'm going to be going through a couple of examples and showing you exactly how this works. Okay, so in the first example, you can see I have two forms set up here. I have a form for companies and a form for employees. And I want to establish a link between those two so that employees can select which company they work at. So here are my company entries in the company's form. You can see we have a company name, a type, the CEO name, a short description, and a website. And now I'm going to edit the employees form and add a dynamic lookup field so that employees can select their company. Okay, so here I am in the form editor. I'm gonna scroll down here on the right to the advanced fields. And here is the dynamic lookup field. All right, so let me drag it into my form there. And I'll click on it so I can configure the field settings. Let's give it a name. All right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, choose the source type. So there are two options here. You can bring in uh, values from other Gravity Forms entries, or you can select WordPress users. Um, I'll show you how the WordPress users works in the next example. Okay, so let's keep it on Gravity Forms. Now we need to select a source form. So for this, I'm going to choose my company's form. Next, I need to choose a source field. So this is the these are the field values I wanna bring in as options. Um, for users to select. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the company name. All right, and then next we need to choose an input type for the field itself. And we have three options here. It can be a drop down, a radio buttons field, or checkboxes. So I will choose radio buttons. And you can see it's already pulling in my company names here. Next, I can choose a sort direction for the options. And that can be ascending, or descending. And here I have the option to only show unique values. So if there's duplicate values, um, it'll filter those out. And I also have the option to only show entries created by the current user, but I'm gonna leave that off for now. Okay, so this looks uh, pretty good. So let me go ahead and save, save my form and I'll preview it. Okay, so as you can see, the options here for the radio buttons field are being dynamically pulled in from our company's form over here. All right, so let me go ahead and add a new company here um, by previewing the company's form. And I'll fill this in real quick. Okay, I've just submitted a new company called Supertech. And now I'm gonna go back to my employees form and simply refresh the preview here. And as you can see, there's a new company choice that's automatically dynamically pulled in there. Okay, awesome. So let's go back to the form editor and take a look at a few of these options. So as you can see, we can choose a source field. And let's say, for example, we actually wanted to populate um, the choices with the CEO name of the company. We could simply select that field here. And as you can see, the choices would change here. And we could also choose, for example, the website. Okay, let's leave it on company name for now. And then let's have a look at what the different in input types look like. So this is the radio buttons option. This could also be a simple drop down field. So I'll select that, save my form and refresh here. And as you can see, the field type changes here to a drop down. That could also be a checkboxes field. And with the checkboxes field, you actually have the option to select multiple options. So let's see what that looks like. Here it is. Here you can select multiple options. Okay, so that's what the dynamic lookup field uh, looks like for uh, Gravity Forms entries, but what about WordPress users? Okay, in this example, I have a form for clients. 
Um, and then I also have registered coaches on my website. And again, I want to establish a link so that the client can select a coach. Okay, so here is my WordPress user page. And as you can see, I have a bunch of coaches registered. I've also created a custom user role called coach. So I've got coach Alice, coach Dave, coach Lara, etc. Okay, so now what I want to do is in my client's registration form, I want to include a field that allows them to select a coach. And I want to have that dynamically populate from my list of coaches. So let's go back to our client's form and let's edit that. Okay, so let me go ahead and add the dynamic lookup field. There we go. And again, I'll give it a name. Okay, now I can scroll down here and change the source type from Gravity Forms to WordPress users. There we go. And now I have an option to select a user group. So I can actually filter the choices that display here based on the user role. So if I open that drop down, I'm going to go ahead and select my coach user role. There we go. And once again, we can select an input type. Uh, let me go ahead and choose the uh, radio buttons again. There we go. As you can see, the names of our coaches are being pulled in dynamically there from our list of registered WordPress users. And we have the option here to change the display value. So right now it's set to display name, but that could also be username, for example. And this would pull in the coach's username on the site. So in this case, Coach Alice, Coach Dave, Coach Lara, etc. There are other options here too, including email address, user ID, or full info. Okay, let's leave it on display name for now. Uh, once again, I can choose a sort direction for the options. And I can choose to sort by various different fields here. So this could be different from what we're actually displaying in the option. So I could show the display name, but actually sort by the email address, for example. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and save the form. Once again, we'll preview it. And as you can see, our coaches are being pulled in dynamically here from our list of registered WordPress users. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this was helpful. The dynamic lookup field for Gravity Forms is absolutely free. So head on over to our website to download that. And please let us know what you think.